Hi, it's Michael, and today I'm reviewing Granger's Clothing Repel. This is a water repellent, which is supposed to restore the water repellency of your outerwear, particularly nylon outerwear. This is a 33.8 fluid ounce bottle, and this is going to help with stain resistance as well as water repellency. The directions are pretty straightforward. You need to use two capfuls for one jacket. For each additional jacket, add another capful. That is for a front-loading machine. Now, if you're a top-loading machine like I have, you're supposed to double that. And then when it's been washed, you're supposed to put it into the dryer at the highest possible heat appropriate for your garment. In my case, I used hot, and, uh, and the results came out pretty good. But you'll see that coming up. Uh, I've got a couple of outdoor coats, a ski coat, and then just a general purpose outdoor coat that is not as water repellent as they used to be. Uh, the main coat is uh, actually Gore-Tex, but even so, you still want to use a water repellency on the outer part of it there just to repel as much water as possible. So we're going to see how this works. And the coat that you'll be seeing is the actual Gore-Tex coat. The other coat uh, fared fairly well as well, but let's see how this works. All right, I've got my two coats in here. I actually put some water in and then added the uh, product to the water. I have two coats, which normal instructions call for two caps for the first coat and one cap for each additional coat. And then if you have a top loading machine, you're supposed to double it. So I have six capfuls of the liquid in there. And here's one problem. You see the threads inside the cap. Well, after you pour the stuff out and you screw it back on the top, there's still stuff left in the threads and it drips all the way down the side of the bottle. Really a pain in the butt. And this stuff, when it gets on your fingers and you try to wash your fingers off, uh, your fingers feel kind of like sticky and stuff. So apparently that's the waterproofing effect on this. But in any case, let's finish the load here and see how this fares after it goes through the drying cycle. Okay, here we go. This is my coat fresh out of the dryer. I did follow the instructions. I put this uh, coat in and ran it at the highest heat possible in my dryer. And uh, you've got to check your own care instructions on your garment to make sure you aren't doing something you shouldn't be. But in this case, I did uh, put this at hot. And now let's run some water on this to see whether it repels any better than it did before it was treated. Really going to let this water run on here for a few seconds here instead of just a couple drips. So I would have to say that the water is definitely running off of this better than uh, it was before I treated it. Um, so in that, in that situation, I would have to say it works pretty well. Look at that. No water is soaking through. Now uh, look at the coat initially and look at the coat now. There you go. So I would say it works. Uh, follow the directions. I think you're actually probably going to have better luck if you are using a front load washer as opposed to a top load washer. I have a top load washer and I just don't think that the clothes are actually getting tumbled around in there um, well enough. And I actually stopped the cycle several times throughout just to move things around myself manually to make sure the coat was getting uh, as you know, evenly saturated with that stuff as I could. So the results speak for themselves. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer if I can. Uh, I will tell you there's no odor. Uh, I don't can't really think of anything negative other than the fact that the cap is terrible design because it allows the liquid to spill out even after you've emptied the cap because it gets caught in the threads and then drips down the side of the bottle. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.